So it was in 2003 when I saw this very interesting math problem. I was an 8th grader, so I didn't have proper training in mathematics. So to solve this problem, I simply have to guess what the answer is. But was I right? Let's find out. What's up YouTube? Thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me today. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, so you'll be my best friend. So today, I want to talk about the problem that I saw a long, long time ago. And I recently just recalled the problem and sit down and solve the problem. So here's the setup. Alice and Bob are playing a game against each other. So Alice has 6 coins, while Bob has 5 coins. All coins are identical. Head on one side, tail on the other. All coins are fair, meaning head and tail show up with equal probability of one half. Alice flip all six coins and Bob flip all five coins, trying to compete who get more hits. And here's the rule. Alice wins if she get more hit. Bob wins if he get more hit or both players get the same number of hits. And here's a question. What is the probability that Alice win this game? So one thing that made this problem very interesting is that the problem is very not symmetric. Two players have different number of coins. Alice has 6 while Bob has 5. But the rule also not symmetric. Because if they have the same number of coins, Bob wins. So I'm gonna tell you how I thought about this problem 16 years ago. But before I do that, if you want, let's pause the video and give it some thought. You don't have to completely solve the problem. You can do what I did 16 years ago, just come up with a guess and some reason behind it. And I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, I'm back. So back then, I didn't do any calculation. I just guessed the answer based on some weird reasoning behind my head. And the answer that I thought of was 1 half. Why is that? Well, let's think of a problem this way. Alice has 6 coins while Bob has 5 coins. So let's string out the process as both flip 5 coins and see what happens. And since both players have 5 coins, you can kind of expect a tie between them because it's a fair game between them two. But remember, Alice has one more coin in her back pocket. So the last coin will be the determining factor. If the last coin turns out to be hit, she will have one more hit than Bob, then she wins. If the last coin turned out to be tails, then both of them will have the same number of coins, so Bob wins. So head, Alice win. Tail, Bob win. So probability that Alice win is one half. All right, looking back, I think that's a pretty good logic for a middle schooler to to provide. But you have to be honest, that's pretty pretty far from actual solution. Right, because what does it mean for you expect a tie between two? There's no actual mathematical definition behind that. And as a matter of fact, until recently, I didn't even know what the answer is. I just forget about this problem for a long, long time. And just one day, I just thought about this problem again and have time to sit down and think about this problem. All right, so what do you think? Do you think the answer is one half? If not, what do you think the answer is? So I did a calculation and the answer is... The answer is actually one half. So did you guess it correctly? Let me know in the comment section below whether or not you guess it correctly. So the answer is one half, but how do we solve that? Well, we can do some simulation. After we ask the computer to play this game 100,000 times, probability that Alice win is around 50.15%. So 50% or one half is still pretty good choice. We can solve this problem by list out a lot of cases. I did that already. Here's the result. The answer is indeed one half. However, is there a nicer way to solve this problem? The answer is yes, and it requires almost no calculation at all. So how do we do that? Well, to do that, we need to go all the way back to the way I thought about this problem. All right, so we start off with Alice and Bob each toss five coins. And after that, there are three possible cases. Alice has more hit, Bob has more hit, or they both have the same number of hits. Alright, so here's the interesting part. Since both have 5 coins, probability that the first case occur and the probability that the second case occur are the same. So let's give that a name. Let's call the probability that case 1 happen x. So the probability that case 2 happen also x. Then let's say the probability that they have the same number of head is y. Since there are only 3 cases, so we have x plus x plus y or 2x plus y equal to 1. 
All right, and right here, let's talk about how do we decide who's the winner. Note that if you're in the first case, Alice already has more head without even using her last coin. So she win regardless of what the last coin show. If you're in the second case, Bob has more heads. So even if Alice's last coin show head, the best she could hope for is tying for the number of head, which at the end, she lose anyway. So in the third case, now they tie, and Alice still have one more coin to go. Now if this show head, Alice win. If it show tell, Bob win. So this case will contribute one half y to the probability that Alice wins. So in total, Alice win with the probability of x plus one half y, which is one half of x plus two y, which is just one half of one, which is precisely one half. So graphically, it can be shown this way. Alice win if the result show up on the left side of the graph. Bob wins if the result show up on the right side of the graph. If the result show up in the middle part, then each have probability of one half to win. So each of them has the same probability to win. To me, that's pretty nice and clean solution. Not much calculation required at all. All right, so that's all I want to talk about today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like at the bottom of this page. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so, so you not miss my next video. For today, thank you for watching. My name is Kuang and you're watching N2K. Peace, peace, peace.